right. Uh-huh. 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 Yo, for real, for real. I'm very excited for this one, man. I'm very, very excited. I mean, you know who I am, though. My name is Noble. I'm creator of Museum TV. We are Boston's premier vlog. We are exhibiting the culture story through very meaningful conversations so we can continue to push this thing forward, get those gems out of there, you know what I'm saying? Yes, make sir. sure that information ain't behind closed doors no more. You know what I'm saying? We just trying to make sure things continue to move forward in a very fruitful way. You know what I mean? My guy right here is a person that's definitely helping that happen. You know what I'm saying? That's why he's here. You know what I mean? Definitely. I would say one of the one of the most sought after videographers in this state, appreciate if that. not the game Thank right you. now. No funny shit, you know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna have my guy introduce himself, though, bro. I appreciate you pulling up, man. For appreciate real, you, dog. my for dude, real. Thanks my, for dude. Having my dude, my dude, my nah, dude. Now yeah. you can tell people who you are, man. Tell people who you man, are, man. My name's Don Bruno, uh huh, aka Tange, uh huh, and I'm the owner of Ripe Tangerines. Ripe Tangerines, <laughs> my dude. So Don Bruno, where did Tange come from? Tange is just my nickname because I got orange hair. You got orange hair? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. one of my homies just called me uh, Tange one day. Just short for Tangerine. You really? Know what I mean? Yeah. That's crazy. So yeah. it's crazy how little things will literally just... Yeah, you know it's stuck. It's go stuck. crazy. So all my homies just call me Tange, and then I just stuck with that. You know. But so, lately, I've been putting Don Bruno on my videos just because... I just it just means more to me to put my name, mm -hmm. but Tange is just the nickname. So if people want to call me Tange, call me Tange. Dom, Dom, you know. I like how you um started Tangerines, ripe Tangerines though, because right. even within what you just said, bro, it's like you want people to know you as Dom Bruno. Right, right. Tange just so happened to be, you know, what I'm saying yeah, what, what yeah, got yeah. people up to it. So exactly. it's it's an easy, mm -hmm. it's an easy transfer. I, I fuck For with sure. that, bro. But I mean, it's our first time meeting, though, bro. Yep. I mean, like, tell the people like where you grew up. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, from I'm from Wakefield, Mass. Wakefield, yeah, shout out like, my Wakefield heads. It's North Shore, um, like 20 minutes north of Boston. Mm -hmm. you know, it's like the suburbs, you know. Now, when you say 20 minutes north of Boston, does that really mean like 40, bro? Does it mean nah, like 45? Nah, like, like 20. I mean, you add traffic, probably 30. Okay. You know what I mean? But no, nah, it's like 20 nah, minutes it's, north it's cause of Boston. You know how Boston dudes off. It's more than 15 minutes, bro. It might be out the <laughs> way, dog. Nah, you know what I'm nah, saying? Yeah, we be lazy like as shit 20. when it comes. So like moving around. Yeah, no, nah, it's like twenty without traffic, but put traffic in thirty, thirty five, yeah. maybe. My dude, you know man. I mean? Nah, but yo, bro, for real, for a salute to everything you got going on, man. Cause I gotta say, like, what we do at the museum, like we're always trying to look throughout the state, the scene, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, for different stories that, you know, we feel pushes things forward, as right. as I've been saying. But it's like there was a period of time, bro, because the scene be up and the scene be down. You know what I'm saying? Just like with everything. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of activity going on right now, but there are periods of time where there weren't too much activity. Mm -hmm. And I just feel like, no funny shit, bro. Like, when I first came across, like, Shot by Tinge on, on the Instagrams. I forget what video was the first, to be real, but because you come out with so much. But, mm -hmm. like, maybe like two, maybe like three years ago, bro. And I really feel like you held up. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. just the visual representation. Yeah. Well, my main thing was consistency. Mm. Just trying to stay consistent, trying to make a name. And I was I was working with as many artists as I could. You mm. know what I mean? Just to get my name going. And then, you know, as, as you work, you just meet new people and make new connections. And, you know, you work way up. How did you, like, start off, though? Like, like so, like, I, I know, you know, if, if we were to go back, you used to be an artist. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So... Is that how you kind of got acclimated to yeah, being I mean, around certain heads and I've, like knowing people? Because it feels like, you know, it seems like a lot of people hip to you. Nah, you know yeah, yeah. Know I mean, you, you I know met mean? way more people being a, you know, a filmmaker than and when being I was an artist. an artist. That's a fact. You know what I mean? Yeah, Just because yeah, yeah. every, most people like, <laughs> oh, everyone man. always needs, you know, visuals or photos. Not everyone always needs a rapper or like a songwriter. You know what I mean? I like, like so I, I definitely made more connections, you know, having a camera, but I've always loved music, you know, music's always been my passion and whether I was making music or making beats or, you know, engineering and stuff, I knew I always wanted to be surrounded by music and I eventually picked up a camera and it, it worked, it just it worked I out. I can't lie, bro, like, it's, in terms of immersing yourself into a culture, in terms of moving your, your work around, um, especially within like music, it seems like you know, and no, not not to discredit any of my artists, but it seems like being an artist, bro, is the toughest position to play right oh, now. Oh yeah, bro. yeah, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You gotta. It's like, it's what it's like a it's like a uh, like a competition. It is. You know what bro. I mean? You gotta fight your way up. And everybody be like, oh, another one. Oh, yeah, another one. You know what yeah. Saying? Right, 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 right. But now you gotta you gotta fight your way up, and you gotta uh. You know, find find your flow mm -hmm. and 
eventually collect your fan base and go from there just keep working your way up but i would say like consistency you need to have quality still i think you know what i mean i mean there's those like there's those joints that go viral overnight and stuff but it's good to build a fan base over time and just keep putting in consistency, working your way up. You know what I mean? And, and that's today, just my bro. opinion. No, that's, that's and then how today, I look bro, at it. that's 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 our motto. That's what that's that's what God has said to this day. Right, you know, because right. there's, there's been plenty of times where I wanted to stop the museum, bro. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? A couple, I don't want to say like completely stop, but you're just right, right. I was looking for a reason, yeah, nights. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um. So, bro, like, how, how old are you right now, bro? 24. Aries gang. Aries gang. Yeah. My dude, my dude. What you do for the two fourth this year? What are you doing for the two five? Actually. The I quarter century I, mark. I don't be really going, like, I don't drink, I don't smoke, so, like, I don't really be going out too much. Mm-hmm. Probably just play the crib, bro. Do you, are you, um, so y- your team right now, are you doing all the editing for your videos? Yeah. I, sh- I direct, shoot, and edit most of my Savage. videos. Sometimes I'll have, I'll hire a DP, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? But, but that's, the, that, I direct, that's I direct all my videos yeah. and edit all my videos. Savage, bro. Yeah. Yo, look. Everybody that don't do videos don't understand how much of a savage game editing is. Oh my God. Yo, if you yeah. do not make videos, bro, don't talk to us about creating them. Like for real. Like nah, for real. I, 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 I enjoy editing. That's like, that's my sauce. Bro, I can't lie. Respect. <laughs> I hate yeah, editing, yeah, bro. Yeah, I know. I talk editing to Editing to me is like, eat, is like a young kid eating broccoli, bro. Word. You know what I'm saying? You know it's good for you. You got to do it. Yeah, but it's well, like, there's oh, been like, like be crazy. there's been scenarios where like, you know, I couldn't wait to get out the shoot to just to go edit it and see what I could do because I knew like in post production like what effects I could do and new effects to mm. learn and stuff like that. You know. So let's just say you know, because I know Millie's had talked one day about how, or or maybe you might have said about how crazy it was to shoot one of his videos. I'm forgetting exactly which one, but y'all did it within like two hours or some shit like that. It was like a real rip and run kind of situation. Running gun, yeah, yeah. Uh, the Jim Jones record, Heightened Senses, we shot within a few hours. We were in Harlem. Me, him, and Jones were just running around with our teams, and then later that night, I finished the edit. We sent it in to the, to them, and we dropped it the next morning. That shit, that was my first million view video. With, with, with and Jimmy, it was, it was the quickest video I ever shot and edit, and quickest million you ever seen. Yeah, it's my first million. The first million yeah, on yeah. top of that, because I, I, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I you put in some million. work though. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, sure. it sounds like you did it within twenty four hours. To we, edit. Did, we did, we did, we did, we do, we shot it. Edited it, dropped it within 24 hours. Nah, the universe blessed you, bro, on dogs. That's just crazy. Shout out Millie, shout out Jim Jones. So, all right, all right, so let's double back. We just mentioned Millie's and Jim Jones. Yeah. You know, um, again, I feel like I've watched your 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 come up, bro, very organically. When I seen you connect with Millie's, I'm like, okay, this is dope. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then I kept working. Yeah, and then I seen the, the 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 relationship build, bro. And I'm like, yo, this shit makes so much yeah, sense. Yeah, nah, that's my brother. You feel that's me? My brother, so bro. how did y'all end up like connecting? You know what I'm saying? Um, shout it's, out. It's a true Blanco y Blanco story, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No funny yeah, shit. Yeah, nah. First, shout out G Nipsey because G Nipsey hit me one night and was like, yo, I'm in the studio with Millie's. You should pull up, get some content. And I was like, yeah, it's a no brainer. Say so less. I pulled up. We got we got the content and then you know I hit up I hit up Mills after the session like yo I appreciate you bro you know if you ever need a cameraman let me know and he goes yeah just stay in touch hit him up a couple weeks later and you know we started started working you know he started bringing me around other other shoots with other directors and I was shooting behind the scenes mm-hmm. and then eventually he gave me a, a a song to write a treatment to I wrote the treatment he was like oh nah this shit's dope but he didn't expect me to do the treatment as hard as i did like i went crazy on in the depth. treatment you know in, in depth, depth. yeah sure. yeah and then he he was like now nah, we got to switch the song because i think he gave me like not a throwaway but just like a test a test type song you know <laughs> what i mean like you up, bro. it was like earlier on in my career and shit I mean, you know what i mean love. there's nothing wrong and with then, that yo he gave me the glum video and static selector produced it and shit and i'm like this shit's crazy because static's a legend you That's know what i fact. mean so from this from the state hell yeah saying? so we went to brooklyn shot that and it's history since mm-hmm. my, my older homie bellum i was talking about static i'm pretty sure i'm i'm pretty sure they like best friends like grew up together but like static right. is 100 percent a legend bro hell yeah. um you know what i'm saying yeah. like anybody that i know that's been around the scene for a while bro talks crazy hell about yeah. him. shout out static um but damn all right so let's take a step back I know you said that the Jim Jones joint was probably like the the quickest running gun situation that you had, but like other than that, like what's been like the least amount of, I guess like the the, the least amount of 
having to work with. You know what I'm saying? You had like nothing to work with, bro, and you came out with like some fire shit. That's a good question. I don't know. There's been videos, bro, where just there's shit there wasn't, fell apart. No, nah, I mean, I wouldn't let the thing. I won't let personally. I wouldn't let it fall apart. You know mm. what I mean? I'll make sure the artist is always comfortable and he's going to know he's going to get high quality work. So you can put me in a room, which is nothing on the walls, no models, no props, and I'll still make it work. Because then like, all right, so if I got nothing in person, what can you do in post-production? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And I feel like uh, I could take it to post-production and go mm -hmm. crazy. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So if you can't get it in person, take it to post and go crazy. And learn, learn. If you don't know, like... It's 2021. You got Talk YouTube and Google, bro. YouTube I didn't go to University, bro. Yeah. The best university in the world. Word. Stop playing yourself in your wallets. You know what I'm saying? Facts. My dude, man. Yo, yo, bro. All right. So, dog, like like I said, bro, I really love your story, bro, because this shit's Appreciate really organic, it. bro, and you consistent with it, bro, and you just work hard. Like, Thank that's you. what I respect, and I feel like a lot of people just need to be on that type of way, yeah. bro. Stop 100%. all the talking. Stop all the glam shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You stop drinking and smoking for this shit. Yeah, you well, nah, I stopped drinking and smoking. Uh, even, prior, but yeah, not, yeah. yeah. It was just a, that shit. was just I'm like a, a personal life decision to make. You know what, what I mean? 21? I'm 24 now. Yeah, like 21. That's 21, crazy. 21, yeah. When people Maybe 22. turn that shit up. Yeah. Turn it all yeah. the way down. Well, not funny. like, you know, high school up to like 21. I was smoking and drinking, but... It just, oh, was one of those just, heathens in the hallway, though? It just wasn't really for me. You know, I just... It didn't do much for me. That's all. No, nah, I feel you that, know? bro. I feel that. Um, so, I mean, all right. As of right now, you know, you've worked with... How many artists would you say, bro? Like, from this state? Because you put me onto a lot of artists, bro. I know people always telling me I put them onto artists. But yeah. one of the reasons I respect you, bro, is because you put me onto <laughs> artists, bro. Real shit. Word. Real shit. Bro, I... Honestly, I don't think I can give you a number. Um, <laughs> I know I've shot over 500 music videos. As of right now? Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, bro. I've shot over 500. I mean, your turnaround time is 24 hours, so... For, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the budget, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. No, that's crazy. That's crazy. And again, if you do not edit, bro, I don't want to hear nothing <laughs> out of you, bro. 24 hours is, is madness, bro. Madness. Yeah. Um. All right, so... Um, I know you used to do the, the music artist thing, but like, why did you stop, bro? Shit, man. Honestly, and like, is there any work we can go listen to? For, 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 oh for, yeah, for yeah. Like thing? my old songs are on SoundCloud still. You know okay, what I mean? That, it's shit. under Don Bruno. Um, but now nah, I quit. Like, I went through like a crazy depression, bro. Like, mm. long story short, like my girlfriend at the time, she passed away in a car accident, and like that shit, like crushed me fell into a dark hole that's different ended up just getting a nine to five job quit music and eventually i just i picked it back up like not the music part just wanted to be creative again mm -hmm. i was like all right i'm, I'm ready i climbed up you know what i mean i climbed out of that out hole of that, yeah and wow, bro. i picked up a camera and i was like you know i was i've been I've, I've always tried to be in front of the lens let me try being behind the lens now mm -hmm. you know what i mean mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and i just started shooting for homies and then, you know, my homies, homies, and then my homies, 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 and then social media was helping, you know what I mean? Yeah, so it around. just started to grow and you got where I'm at. But my dude, so yeah. yeah. I mean, but nah, like I love music, bro. That shit like, ushered you into your like your best period, bro. That's yeah, just, for it, sure. It's, it's like it's crazy. It's it's like it's crazy to say, like it's almost like I had to go through all that to get where I'm at now. I'll you tell know you a I mean? story, you know what I'm saying? Like, my man Rez, you know what I'm saying? My man Rez, you know what I'm saying? He's on my arm, bro. Mm -hmm. That was my older homie, you know what I'm saying? Somebody that gave me confidence yeah, when I was yeah, a little yeah. homie. He passed when I was 21. He got killed yeah. by on the loose schizophrenic and Dudley, you know what I'm saying? Oh he was 24, God. bro. You feel me? So it's like... That's crazy. That shit happened. That same year, my nephew was born, too. You know what I'm saying? So I gained my nephew, yeah, first yeah, nephew, yeah, yeah. and then I lost my big homie. You know what I'm wow. saying? So it's like, you know, I, I definitely... You know, resonate with that yeah, heavy, yeah. bro. Losing How something you love. so crazy, yeah. you know what I'm saying, can kind mm -hmm. of bring you in, into like your, your 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 best life. Right. It's like, you know, once you hit rock bottom, the only the only way is up. Yeah. You know what I mean? 100%. So that's kind of like kind of what happened. All right, man. Let's yeah. get off this depressing <laughs> shit, man. My dog Tange, yeah, man, yeah. with the dope story, man. I hope y'all are really tuning in, bro. For real. Um. So, bro, you say you don't drink, you don't smoke. So I know your memory is on fucking point. Tell me, uh, I, I, it's honestly, here we go, here we go, here we go. It can be like when I, 
when I push it in my calendar, you know, it's reminders and stuff. But my memory sometimes, just because I have so much going on every day, shoot, yeah. edit, meetings, like, you know what I mean? I have mm -hmm. to be here. I have to be there. Mm -hmm. It's just, it gets kind of crazy. A, damn, I was going to ask, uh, that kind of brought me into one of my later questions. But the first question that I asked, bro, is since you don't drink or smoke right now, like, what's been the most memorable moment for you, you know what I'm saying, since... Mm -hmm. You know, starting everything up, ripe tangerines going crazy for you. Mm. By the way, lyrical lemonade mm -hmm. was that inspiration at all? Of course, you know what of course. Saying? Yeah. I know for me, the fader, hot new hip hop was you know motivations okay. for this. Yeah, 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 you know hell so, yeah, yeah. Nah, you know, Cole Bennett's definitely an inspiration for sure. Just mm -hmm. what he did with lyrical lemonade is Amazing. incredible. You Amazing. know what I mean? So that's definitely someone I look up to. Um, but 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 about the uh, the memory though, about the I memory. would say. I mean, I went to Columbia this year, and I went with Millie's and Davies, and that shit was like life changing. Changed my life and my perspective on life. Wow! Like for sure, hundred percent. Tell me a little. Tell me a little. You know, a little gem out of that. So it's juice. just like the you. We were we were staying in a crazy crib, looked over the whole city. Um, you know, it was just beautiful. The air, you know, it's like one of the most green places in the world. Most population of birds or something like that. And like that aspect, incredible. The food, amazing. And then we went, you know, and shot the videos in the like the trenches. Yeah, oh, yeah, like yeah. Pablo Escobar's yeah. hoods and stuff mm -hmm, like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that, How was that, that just, though? Like, did y'all have like a whole bunch of security or like the people we, just know yeah, we had some, We had some uh, security dudes with us, but... You know, we clearly were outnumbered if anything was to happen. Like, God forbid, but, you know, we're, we're in a foreign place and stuff. And I don't even speak Spanish and shit. So I'm just holding my camera, shooting what I get told to shoot. And, you know. That's that, yeah. Uh, yeah. But nah, man, it was life changes because there was like 13, 12, 13-year-old kids tatted up, smoking, drinking out there. And it's just some shit I haven't seen. Wow. You know, I mean, out here it's a little different. Yeah. But out there, like, it's just a whole different culture. Nah, you, you and, grow up so super early yeah super hell yeah early, hell yeah so i would say the columbia trip changed my life and just like you know it brought me and mills closer just we we had long talks out there you know what i mean chopping it up with east and uh just listening to to him and his knowledge and his stuff so and it was just um it was incredible incredible for sure wow, bro. yeah no nah, no funny shit bro i'm definitely excited to see what more you're doing you're only two four bro you know what i saying? appreciate it Thank should, you. should just be so dope to me you know now that i'm 30 bro and just seeing you know younger homies going crazy it's like damn wow as a platform that wants to continue to aid the culture, but I feel like I got so many more years to Hell do yeah. Thing. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? 100%, so respect, bro. man. No lot to you. you know, I'm definitely at that point right now, but I have to ask, man, like how does a new artist that's watching this interview, you know what I'm saying? They might be 18, 17, just saved yeah. up their Christmas money or something, bro. Yeah. <laughs> how how do I get in contact with Tinge? For a music video. I mean, Dom at ripe tangerines .com is my email. Mm -hmm. So like people can just hit the email and uh, we'll set up meetings, go over what you want, what's your budget, you know, what where you want to shoot New England area. Do you want to go to L.A., Miami? You want to go, you know, fucking Europe, mm -hmm, anywhere mm -hmm. like that. Um, but that's that's usually the way it goes. Sometimes, you know, I'll, I'll go through some DMs, but my DMs just get filled up every day. It's just, it's just super overwhelming. Respectfully. <laughs> nah, for real. It's just, it's just really overwhelming on, on Instagram and stuff and, and Twitter. I always tell people if you're going to start a brand or a business, make sure whoever's the workhorse is the heart of it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like for real. You Hell know what yeah. Saying? You can have people come on, bro, build with them, bro. But as yeah. long as you know, you're know you still working, willing to work, yeah, bro, she yeah. continue to do. Hell you know what yeah. I'm saying? Nah, I respect that so much, man. But yo, look. We're going to head towards the end of this bad boy, man. Look, he told y'all where to keep up with him. You know what I mean? The email. Yes, bro, we're going to move into my dead dog segment. Is you know, our newest segment. It's, honestly, I'm excited every time I want to hear. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Some shit I ain't never heard about the person in front of me. You feel me? Yeah. But you already know. The segment is called I Put That Shit on Dead Dogs. You know what I'm saying? Shout out my man, Bordy. You know the vibes, my brother. But, yeah, Tinge, I put that shit short, on dead dogs. The segment is based around what does somebody not know that would be the most outlandish shit about tinge you know what i'm saying so what what don't we know about you bro that's like what the fuck like probably my anxiety i i, I battle anxiety? with anxiety i battle with anxiety for sure bro you around a lot of shit i know i know it's crazy like a lot of people don't know that about me I and got, it's that bad bro yeah like i got to I got to focus on my breathing a lot that's what it is i forget to breathe <laughs> you know what i mean so i'll, I'll be at yeah. a shoot 
and there's just so much going on. You know what I mean? The the artist, his entourage. I got to get the the cars, the models, the props, make sure everything's on time and shooting, directing. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Just it be over. It's just overwhelming. You know it what is, I mean? It is so, a lot to think about. I um. I just got to focus on my breathing and I'm good. You know what I mean? But my anxiety just be going crazy sometimes. I would not get that from you, bro. I'm not going to lie. Because it's just like, for when there's so much work being yeah. done. Nah, yeah. I try not to show it. You know what I mean? It's just, it's just something that like, I'm not like proud to be like, I can't just be on set and go to the artist like, yo, I'm having anxiety right now. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, it, I want him to feel... You know feel what I mean? Good, like yeah. this is this is his shoot. He's paying for it. This is his time. You know what I Do mean? Do you feel like low key in the middle of all that, the artist is low key helping you manage like your your anxiety because you know that you have to manage your shit when you're around them. So low key, does that kind of yeah yeah you know, yeah give you a practice oh yeah for thing, sure bro? for sure. And I know like if I was to say to the artist like yo I'm having a little anxiety right now, he'd be cool with be it. Cool, you know what yeah, I mean? But like to. it's just something that like I'm just not like it's not like a proud thing to be like talk about and all that yeah yeah i just don't feel like talking you know what i mean but that's just something i battle with and i'm figuring ways through it like i said breathing is probably like the biggest part of it you know what i mean Mm. it's just it's all mental you know what i mean bro and and today dog like you know i feel like every major brand that has lasted periods of times Mm. there's always that one phrase that just kept them going you yeah know what i'm saying like diddy yeah. can't stop won't stop right you know right right shit like yeah. that yeah. like you know rockefeller you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. it's about the family yeah things like yeah. that you 100 percent. um so i mean bro uh i respect that and real shit you know i wouldn't know next person wouldn't know so you're doing an amazing job I appreciate for it. Real. Yeah, I put that uh, shit so on i mean that damn dog. what's next for tinge like what's going on you got ripe tangerines the, the yeah. clothing is coming out my dog just sliced me with some shit make yeah, sure y'all yeah. are definitely you know keeping up you feel ripe tangerines clothing line slash when, 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 when is that dropping soon soon okay, very okay, okay. very soon we're getting um, the okay okay like within a week from this interview Okay, you know I, mean? all right, I don't all right. know when you're dropping this interview, but just make sure there's no sorry for the weights. You know what okay. I'm saying? Okay, I got you. Nah, you. but yeah, we got we got a lot of shit coming out, man. Um, now nah, respect. I mean, um, by the time this interview comes out, the, the clothing should have been dropped. Okay, you know all right, say, cool. Yeah, honest, nah. yeah, yeah. So we're dropping our clothing line. Um, you know, we got shirts, hoodies, sweatsuits, beanies, all that. You know, so you can get it at ripetangerines.com. Ripetangerines.com, yeah. man. You know what I mean? Stop playing with my dog. Hell yeah. Um, so I mean, shit. Where can people find you, bro? You know what I'm saying? End things off at, at this point. Yeah, um, Shop by Tange is my my personal. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, Ripe Tangerines is the business. Mm-hmm. So I would follow both. My dude. Yeah. Are there any shout outs you got for people? Shout out to the Ripe Tangerines family. Yeah, yeah. 500, 500 music videos. Yeah. It counting. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hell yeah. It counting. Nah, because, you know, we got. We got team members who work at different sections of it, like the Spotify playlisting, the clothing, the the YouTube channel, the Instagram, the Twitter. Like everyone has their own job. So, mm-hmm. so shout out to them, um, Mama Tange, my mom, man. I gotta shout her out. You know what I mean? You better, <laughs> goddamn it, you better, bro. Not nah, yo, bro. Nah, yo, she she's the most supportive person, man. She's always even when I was making music, she was very supportive. You know what I mean? So, Not for nothing. Would you consider yourself a mama's boy, bro? Yeah. I am too, bro. Word. And I feel like we run the fucking world. Yeah, right, hell yeah, that's bro. Real. That's, hell that's yeah. real right there, man. Look, yo, it's your boy Noble, man. You know what I mean? The Creative Museum TV. I got my man Tange, yes, Don sir. Bruno. You know what I'm saying? Specifically, you know him as Tange, but the man's name is Don Bruno. You know what I'm saying? He got ripe tangerines. He's going crazy. If you haven't seen his music videos, you probably seen it on our platform. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? Like, we definitely been showing bro a lot of love because the work is really that A1, man. It's Thank a you. A lot of respect, a lot of love for bro's work. Um, and you know, just how you, you know, just spreading good energy, bro. No funny yeah. shit, man. It's just dope, yeah. bro. I, I really respect it. It's our Appreciate first time it. meeting too. Like for real. This ain't yeah, no gimmick. Yeah. Hey, this is my first interview. Talk that. You know my what I'm saying? First interview with, We've with had a couple the of Museum first, TV. You know we had a couple of firsts, you know what I'm saying? But I, I I'm all the way happy that you know what I'm saying that we got this story. Nah, I appreciate in, bro. it, bro. No for funny real. shit, man. Cause it's I always talk about us taking care of us. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Hell like yeah. you can go out and fucking chart. Billboard 100, all that shit, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? To me, not that I don't care, but it's like, I care about the foundation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm Hell saying? Yeah. So, Hell yeah. you know, we look to champion our people for real, bro. But look, man, I ain't, I ain't going to get all too crazy sentimental, man. You know who I am, man. Noble again. One more time. I got my man Tan. She just told you where to follow him and where to um hit that booking. You know what I'm saying? The video is going to continue going crazy. 500 plus in what, two, three years, bro? Like, 
Yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Years, yeah. That's a lot of videos. You know what I'm saying? Again, if you don't create videos, <laughs> man, I don't want to hear it, bro. Look, Appreciate it's the Museum you, TV. One more again, man. We're exhibiting the culture stories through meaningful conversations like this one, man. Catch up with us next time. It's Noble, creator of the Museum TV, and I just wanted to thank you for tuning into Boston's premiere vlog. If you like this video, please leave us a like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. I'll leave a few other videos around here for you, just so you can see how we're exhibiting the culture stories.